Hi, welcome to Insight. I'm Wendy Brokaw. And I'm Mary Louise Van Atta. What's going on with the Salem-Kaiser School District? They've, Lots. <laughs> right, Lots. but they're not just uh, educating students, they're educating them for the world of work they're going to someday enter. Mm -hmm. What is that? Commercial manufacturing, mm -hmm. residential construction, robotics? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, Good we're stuff. not sitting behind a desk here when we graduate, right? Well, where do they get all of this? Through the Career and Technical Education Center and CTEC. And here to talk with us about that is Jim Orth. He is the Salem Kaiser School District Community Technical Education Coordinator. <laughs> yes. That's, That's a mouthful. I got that right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. Well, what is this? It's a it's something where I love your motto, learning that works. What is CTEC? Uh, well, CTEC is one of the uh, Actually, it's a center where we have four of our 40 career and tech ed programs from across the school district. Um, and CTEC specifically is for juniors and seniors in our, in our high schools. Um, the students remain uh, re residents enrolled in their home high school. Oh, so it's not a separate school. Correct. No, it's a center and students spend half of their schedules at uh, CTEC but they remain still a Saxon or a Titan or a Ole. Royal Scott and Ole, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> and and, and, but importantly, and graduate with their class. Correct. They so graduate as, as at their home school and they can also participate in all their home school sports and uh, okay. clubs and uh, uh, choir, music, mm -hmm. those types of things, um, but can access a, a more advanced career tech ed program. Um, yeah. And, and it's more relatable because we actually integrate some of the core content as well. Give us an idea. You are a rather unique public-private entity. Sure. So CTEC uh, really came out of a, out of a brainstorm between um, Mountain West Investments, the owner of Mountain West Investments, and uh, some people kind of talking about how to, how to provide hope for students. Um, provide a better way to uh, be prepared when they leave high school for either career or college or both. Um, and so uh, it, it's kind of started as a small dream to maybe grow one program and grew into this idea of, well, what if we did something really big and impacted the, the community, the city, the region, um, and, and changed the way that we operate in a lot of ways. And so. Um, Mountain West Investments has organized uh, some of their own funds as well as money from foundations, the city, the um, county, um, and the state, um, all to bring together uh, a focused center where we'll have eventually 10 programs uh, for our students that are, again, like I said, juniors and seniors. Mary um, Louise, I first learned about it when they were making what's called a sheet shed for uh, that was going to be auctioned off for Willamette Humane Society. Oh, yeah. It was so much fun seeing these girls and boys in these in a situation where perhaps maybe they never even imagined themselves being constructing something and it was wonderful to watch. Yeah, They're actually out there doing that. What I noticed when I did my tour was uh, the reading portion came in on reading manuals on how on the equipment that they were using. So they would read the manuals and there was a student when I was there doing a presentation on the manual that he read and explaining it then to his class. And that's so applicable in both work and in you know almost any business that right. you're in. That's, that's how we integrate our, some of the core curriculum. So all of our programs uh, integrate two core classes. Um, so as the example that you're giving, mm -hmm. we have English and math in our manufacturing and our construction programs. Uh, and the students use those courses to help them graduate. They lead to their graduates just like they were taking English mm -hmm. class at Sprague or mm -hmm. at McNary. Um, and so we usually we teach those core classes through the lens of that CTE program. So students wouldn't be reading uh, Romeo and Juliet in their language class like mm -hmm. traditionally. And I wasn't a big Romeo and Juliet fan. I'm sorry to you literature folks. But uh, a lot of students aren't either. They still can, can do a lot of reading and, do all, and meet the same standards by reading the things that interest them in the career fields that interest them. And Tell me, oh good, not to interrupt too much, <laughs> but what I noticed is there was a good balance between uh, uh, men and women young men and young women in the classes. Uh, you would think that technical, which would be a lot of you know construction stuff, may be more of a male profession, nope. but that's not, wasn't not true at all. Well, we do, we do struggle a little bit with the, the manufacturing and construction. Mm -hmm. um, it, they're about double what we see in terms of in the industry mm -hmm. um, at, our, at our center. Um, and actually, our construction program has really taken that on. And next year, they'll go from about 10% um, females to about 25%, mm -hmm. Excellent. Um, which, again, 
will be about four times what we right. see in industry. And right. what about robotics? Uh, we start a, a, a drones and robotics program next year. It's very Fun. exciting, along with uh, auto body and painting. Um, and so we've have, we have three other auto, automotive technician programs in the school district, but not an auto body and uh, painting program. So this is very exciting. That's fantastic. Uh, and many of the industry partners, or indus local industries, are very excited to become partners in that because they're really aching for um, auto techs who can um, fix the fenders and paint, right. refinish the cars. Uh, and so it's really um, amazing to and see. And come to industry already trained, so they're not spending right. a lot of money and to, just to find ready. out someone that says, right. oh, I don't really like this business. Uh, you know, sorry you trained me and did all that stuff. They're actually testing it out and getting ex right. you know, getting. Are you getting in results that. in that already? Well, uh, yes. We uh, Last year, the first year that CTEC started, we actually uh, we, we thought we were going to have a career fair uh, near the end of the school year. Mm -hmm. For the first, you know, first right. year we'll have this yeah. career fair. Well, many of the industry partners said, we don't want to do mock interviews. We want to just do interviews, <laughs> wow. um, which oh, was fantastic. really cool. That's um, working. <laughs> so, uh, and we had um, several students got jobs um, even before the school year ended to nice. start right away, and then several more. So we probably had about anywhere from 10 to 20 students had jobs mm -hmm. um, before the end of the school year wow. and probably another 10 or more over the summer and then after, after they graduated. Mm -hmm. uh, right. What do you need in the way, do you need partnerships? We're always uh, looking for more partners. We have a great uh, relationship with the uh, Salem Area Chamber, and, and they've located an employee there, a business liaison, Norma Sanchez. Mm -hmm. um, she's at CTEC. Um, she's a great way if you're a business um, and want to make a connection or contact John Honey, the principal, or myself, mm -hmm. Jim Orth, of course. And what is your website? Uh, we're at ctechsalemkaiser.com. And where are you located physically? We're at 3501 Northeast Portland Road, or sorry, Portland Road Northeast. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's out uh, near the, the fairgrounds. Can anyone, anyone visit there? Can anyone actually go there? Sure, we actually have drop-ins quite often and we give huh. we give about um, between 20 and 30 tours a month. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, wow. To various people, whether they're industry, education, upper, uh, you know, post-secondary. Um, a lot of people are very interested in what we're doing. Wow. The very purpose of Insight is to show nonprofits and organizations that are doing something really innovative that catches our attention. This one does. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank, Thank you for Thank taking you. care of Thank our Thank you for welcome, taking folks. care of our students. This isn't uh, home ec and shop anymore. This is the new real world training. CTE, the way we want it to be in the new millennium. Absolutely. <laughs> thank you for joining us today on You're Inside welcome. James Ort. Thanks for having me. And thank you for joining us. I'm Wendy Brokaw. And I'm Mary Louise Van Atta. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>